since 1.8.3 dropped a lot of people have moved away from striker which is really which is understandable since striker did receive a, a really big nerf however i still think in the right situations and with the right knowledge striker can be a really good set still in this patch because you can still get 100 stacks and the healing as well even though the healing got nerfed a little bit it's still really strong especially if you play 9000 stamp right so we'll go through the build right now and after that I will I will give you guys some tips and tricks how to play striker in 1.8.3 so let's get into the build so I'm playing 9000 stamp striker right now and I do have a little bit more stamp than I have to but if I want to play skirmish or last stand my stats will be perfect so i will actually have all the talents as well there right but i will be below 9000 stamp but still so the reason i choose to go 9000 stamp instead of 6k which i did play a lot in earlier patches is because mainly you need more time to build the stacks also the healing did get de decreased so i kind of want to have that extra healing that you get using 9k stamina instead of 6k right the bonus so looking at the build 9000 stam let's check the weapon first i am using a showstopper mainly to build stacks and if somebody comes close i will use it as well i almost never used a showstopper before but in this patch even though they nerfed it and like yeah showstopper is op right this is the patch when i'm actually using it right but yeah mainly to build stacks and close combat as well right because the LVA is for medium range and long range right Using Unforgiving Deadly, I think I would like to swap Unforgiving for Vicious because majority of the time I do have full HP. But I mean Unforgiving is fine as well, so... Yeah, that's the talent on that. Looking at the ve weapon mods, nothing new here. Crit damage, major, crit chance, headshot damage. Small grip with a critical hit damage as well. Using uh, LVA with the Vicious Deadly Competent, which works super good for ranges over 10 meters, right? And even for long range, right? Because we have a lot of crit chance and crit damage with Vicious Deadly. And we mod the gun as well with full crit, right? However, if you do play close range a lot, I would probably go house. Or M4 with the responsive, responsive competent and maybe unforgiving depending on your playstyle, right? But this is just how I prefer to play. I can take a lot of, I can take a lot of fights further range, right? So, 6p striker classified, health, exotic damage, and all the weapon mods are exotic damage as well. So I am giving up some crit chance now because Predator is really popular build and there's a lot of defense as well. But striker works really good against defense and nomad, right? So yeah, sure we give up some crit chance but most of the builds are not going to have anywhere close to the damage you will put out when you have stacks, right? So losing the crit chance, it's fine, right? Mask, exotic damage, as I said, we're giving up some crit chance. Stamp, burn resistance, more exotic damage resilience. On the knee pads, I do choose to go health, which is just a better attribute than EDR. And we do already have so high EDR, and I'd rather take health, because health works in every scenario, right? Bleed, shock, disrupt. Pulse critical hit chance mods as well. Backpack, go health again, not crit damage. I could possibly go crit damage here because we are already having such a high health pool anyway, but I'm playing health. But if you feel you want a bit more damage, go crit damage there. Same thing with the knee pads, you could, could go crit damage there as well. If you feel like you need it, if you want a bit more damage, right? Gloves, assault rifle damage, critical hit damage and crit chance. Since AR is going to be the main weapon for me. However, if you're gonna play like Showstopper House, like main like a house or something like that, then swap it to SMG for example and still have crit chance and crit damage. You just have two different gloves with that, but you definitely, in my opinion, don't want to have assault rifle damage and SMG damage on the same glove because you lose out of one of the crits. Striker holster with a crit chance, nothing special about this. And if you have watched my videos for a long time, you do know that I use a double barrel sort of to finish targets right. When they are on the floor, I swap to the sword off, I punch them and I get determined and predatory. I would like sustain as the, instead of a destructive, but I don't really have mats for that, so yeah. And especially with having like this high health, like predatory is working a bit better as well. 
Also, I do have a low gear score pistol, so I can get uh, my ults back with cool edit and determined. I would suggest you to craft a blue pistol though, which you can do in the crafting station, right? Looking at my, my stats, character sheet, we check the M4 first. You see crit chance is 29% with Vicious, which is not too much compared to what we usually, usually have. We maybe give up around almost 10% crit chance, I think. Maybe 9, I think 9%, right? 115 critical hit damage. But still, like, giving up the crit chance is worth it, in my opinion, because there are so many predators right now, and with this build, you don't really feel it too much. Compared to like playing 6k without EDR, for example. So 432,000 max health, which is quite a lot, right? 35% EDR, which is pretty damn good as well. That's more than one third, right? And yeah, that's uh, the M4, right? We can check the showstopper. I mean, the stats on the showstopper is not going to be impressive, right? 12% crit chance. I mean, I would rather use Vicious on this, I think. At least for the way I use it. Checking the skills, I'm using a support station immunizer to counter pred and other status effects, right? Try to place the station in a good position and try to keep it up as long as possible. And you will get still a, a fat percentage heal, right? And also being immune, which is a big bonus. Pulse as well, since I do play a lot of solo. But even in a group, you always need to have one scrambler at least. If I'm playing in a group and somebody else has pulse, I would use booster shot. Recover link as well. For extra safety. Critical save, precision, on the move. Strike back is usually what I use. But depending on the scenario, if there is a lot of pred, definitely go with adrenaline. It depends how you feel about that. Like sometimes I go like, like this and sometimes I use adrenaline, right? But it's just personal preference. I mean, sometimes they even take away on the move for adrenaline. But definitely crit save, precision, uh, most have talents. I always loved on the move, that's why I still use it though, but yeah. Strike pack is still kind of good, so it's kind of rough. But I think those five talents are definitely the go-to. Oh. Maybe not the biggest deal, but at least for me personally, like... In 1.8.3, you have to aim 100% for a body shot. Unless you have 100 stacks, then maybe sure go for some headshot, or if they are close enough and you feel like you can hit the majority of them, sure do it. But if you're not having 100 stacks and you miss a few shots, like you're gonna drop your stacks and you're just gonna lose a lot of damage, right? So I think this patch in general, if you're gonna play striker, you're gonna have to just hit your shots, right? So aim for the body, it's easier. When it comes to building stacks, I would definitely recommend using a showstopper. You can still do it with an M4 or house, but it will take longer, right? Showstopper, you still build super fast with, even though, like, they didn't really touch it. So, I mean, showstopper is the fastest way to stack it up. And the way I do is try to stack up with showstopper until I get at least, like, 50 plus uh, stacks. Most of the time, I try to get as much as possible, right, if I can. Then I swap to M4 and I, and I play that, right? But if people come close, I will still, like, swap to showstopper because my M4 is not the best close, as I said before, right? And since I do play a lot of solo, this set is really hard to play right now because a lot of times, especially in my experience, I have been playing against so many people. And if they are stacked like three, four people and just rushing you, it's super, super rough because you can't really build stacks on range. You have to be kind of close, which I hate. So something important there is that you have to try to isolate the people. If you can isolate at least to get like a one versus one scenario and build stack of that guy, then you will be fine, right? But it can be really hard to do, especially if you do solo rogue, because people will run in, in a group, right? And be super close to each other, so... That's why I feel like this set is pretty hard to pull off. But if you are playing against one or two guys and you can get the stacks going, then you're still gonna be able to do pretty good, right? And another like cheesy way to do this is just to stay at landmarks and just get stacks on NPC with Showstopper. I'm not doing this too much and I'm, I feel like it's too cheesy, but it, it's a good way to play it for sure. But I'm kind of personally trying to avoid it. Also, quite a big problem with this is if people strafe a lot. I mean, if they see that you have striker, a lot of people will, will just strafe, right? 
and that's when you're gonna have a really hard time but usually if they're close I will do showstopper and just try to hit as much as I can same with M4 I mean doesn't matter if you don't, don't build the stacks I mean if they are not shooting their gun you're gonna be doing damage to them right but it can be annoying when you have built your stacks though so if you can try to swap target or move away but also if it's only one guy you should be able to kill him I think so since Nomad, Pred and Defense in my opinion are, are the top tier sets in this patch you will see more defense which means you can easily build stacks on the defense even though if you're only using M4 right so even on range you shoot the, shoot the shield right it's pretty easy to hit it's pretty large and you still get stacks from it so that's quite a good way to build stacks and most defense players will hate you because you gain 100 stacks quick and you destroy their shield pretty quick right so yeah I mean that's just uh, that's just some general tips that I but yeah, that's just some uh, some general tips that I could think of quicker. I'm pretty sure like I kind of missed some of it, but yeah, maybe I talk a bit more about it in a future video. But yeah, I think striker is still viable. But yeah, if you're getting overrun by a lot of people, it's going to be really rough to play it. And this patch in general is really bad for solo players because the top tier sets don't really require too much skill ceiling to play even though the player in particular is not that good at the game it will take you a lot of time to eliminate them Fred for example have 9000 stam and as long as they only hit 10 shots they will do a lot of damage to you right but this build do have a lot of EDR and stam so it's a good build against it defense will take a lot of time to kill however you will gain a lot of stacks on a defense player the Nomad have a lot of survivability as well, but usually fights against Nomad will be long. So having 9k stam on, this, on the striker will really suit well against the Nomad player. Because you can drag the fight out, and if you drag the fight out, most likely you should be able to build up some stacks, especially if you're close with a showstopper, right? So I still think this build is pretty good, but you do need to have decent aim, right? So striker is definitely not dead, but it's quite hard to pull off in this meta, mainly because especially solo is quite hard to play now. So that's one of the biggest problems, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the build and just some few tips and tricks here, and yeah, see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do like my content and want to support financially, you can check out my Patreon. And if that's not enough, you can find me streaming daily on twitch.tv slash wids. Have a nice day.